Good morning everybody and welcome to day 30 of Christmas in July. Today is Sunday. Um, I am currently waiting for Timothy to get ready because we are nipping out to one, I don't know where, a store that sells storage. As you know from yesterday's video, I am changing around my craft room. Well, it's turning out to be a bit of a major job because I'm not just changing it round to put a desk in, I'm completely changing it round. So yes, as of about 11.30, which is now, it is still in a complete and utter disarray. Um, it might get sort of semi-tidied for tonight, but I do think it's going to take me a few days to actually get it spot on. I need to buy storage equipment. I need to buy things to store things in to give me more room, especially in on my desk. My desk is up now, but I need to buy things that I can store my washi tapes in, um, my glues, all kinds of things, just to make it tidier and more accessible for me to get them when I need them. Um, last night we had... Bear with me, I'm going to sneeze. Right, I'm back now. Sorry about that. Um, last night we had quite quite a late dinner. It was about 7.30 by the time we sat down and had dinner. And then we had a little bit of ice cream for after. So by the time I'd done the dishes and I'd had a shower, I was shattered. I was absolutely shattered. So I didn't even do anything in my craft room. And I did a little bit, but not nothing that you could even tell, really. And I didn't even do much crafting. I'll show you what I did. I did two arms for Santa and then I started his hat hold on a second let I'll be back in a minute there you go that's what I did that's the start of Santa's hat so I've just got his hat to finish and then his beard to do and he will be complete so I'm hoping to get him done um but like I say now we're on our way out and um yeah, I'll be back in a little while with hopefully some um, storage. Um, do you ever feel like this is a bit of a de deja vu? Is that the right word? Yeah. Because we're in the car again, going out to um, get some uh, storage supplies. And again, we've both got our raincoats on because it keeps raining and then sun shining and raining. Anyway, we are on our way to um, our local B&M. Um, they do some really good storage there um, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to have um, a couple of hours in the craft room see if I can get it somewhat and then I'm going to show you my last two advents from Toft like I promised yesterday and um, tomorrow oh it's an exciting day tomorrow I'm excited aren't I Ooh, oh I'm so giddy. excited <laughs> Um, I am going out tomorrow with a group of friends um, and I'm going to take you with me. What a way, all I can say is, what a way to end July vlogs. Christmas in July vlogs. This is the best way to end it. Anyway, you'll see tomorrow. It's going to be very, very exciting. Right, I'm going to go now and I shall be back later to show you what kind of storage I've purchased. So here is the little barricade that we made to stop Zach getting into the craft room whilst we were working. It didn't work. It got in more than once. So let's go into the still a junkyard, but we are getting better because we've moved my table from here and it is now over here. We're having one long run. So we've put the printer at the top and that used to be on like one of those little white Ikea tables and then we're going to have um, well I'm going to have Tim isn't two machines there and a small cutting board there so there's going to be room on this side of the room for me to have a chair there is the desk it's still a complete and utter tip as you can see oh there's I'll show you that afterwards Katie bought that on their first wedding anniversary. It's a paper. I'll show you that after. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you. Sun shining. Is it? Sh mm. Not really. No, not really. Anyway, we're really busy, so we're going, but I just wanted to show you the progress we were sort of semi-making. I think this is going to take me a while. Look what I've just found. 
a Dickensian mouse, the Dickensian mice pattern, and it's by Serdar. I completely forgot I had this. Oh, I wished I'd seen this with before I started Christmas in July. So there's that, and there's all these at the back. Hold on a second, and I'll open it all up for you. Oh, aren't they adorable? Look at that. Let me show you each one. Oh, they're lovely. Snowman there. Look at the fire. Oh, I'll definitely have to make a couple of these. I like this one here. Although I do like her. Anyway, this is a Serdar pattern and it's Serdar 4132. Just in case anybody is interested. Isn't it adorable? Right, I need to get on. I keep finding things and stopping and looking. I mean, it's uh, four o'clock now and we're still in a complete tip. But never mind, I've got lots of time. Right, this is the um, newspaper. This one here is my daughter and that's her wife, uh, Justina. And this was what Katie bought them and she gave the f whole family a copy of it, of the paper for their first wedding anniversary. That was when they got married, friends. And I love that one. That was, a, that was party time, that one was. <laughs> It rained all through the ceremony, confetti, everything. And it did, it rained a lot that day. <laughs> and then then oh, look at them. This is in Froome, this is my favorite hill, Catherine Hill. Isn't it beautiful? And then she did a beautiful poem, but I'm not letting you read that because that's for them. And then this was all of the guests at the bottom of Catherine Hill. And then a few more. I'm just skimping over all. And there's one of the mum and dads. That's our Mads there. Don't it look smart? And that's friends. And that's, that's Fiona, that's Justina's mum. There they are again. This is where they got married. Well, no, this is where they had their, um, the wedding venue. Look at them up there. Oh, I love it. And then the last one is them both. Isn't it beautiful? So this was last year's advent. Not last, is it last year's? Yes, last year's advent. The Christmas just gone. This was last year's advent. And this is my bird. Look at all the jewels. All on his toes. Oh, it was such good fun, this. It was hard work because there wasn't... Sorry, I had to stop. I was sneezing because there was a lot of beadwork. Be the beadwork were everywhere. And this is the tail. Look at how fabulous the tail is. And there's all beadwork on that. Oh, excuse me, I'm sneezing. But isn't it fabulous? So that was the actual bird. And then this was the box it arrived in. Um, it's got... Get your hooks at the ready. It tells you all what to do. I'm not going to let you see it because, well... I'd be here all day. And then there was three layers in it. So the first layer, and they all came like this. So there was one layer. I have no idea if there's anything in this box. So if I turn off quickly, look at that. Toff 2022. I loved it. Really nice. No. And that's the, that's the last one there. I think, yeah, that's the last one. But isn't that a beautiful storage box? I mean, I haven't got anything in it at the moment. Um, and I will have to find what was inside. I will show you what goodies we got. So here are the goodies we got in last year's box. The box was tied up with this absolutely stunning ribbon. It was beautifully packed. So, so beautifully packed. Um, one of the gifts was this key ring. And on the reverse of it, it tells you how to... Well, I don't know if I can... Hold on a second. It tells you how to begin a, um, a magic ring and then this is a gauge. So after six rounds, your bird or 
yeah your bird should be that size so we got them we got i think four packets of glass beads and that's what i had left over and then you got i think it were four or five special ones and i had one left over and then these are all the centralizers slash stitch markers that we all got then we got an iron-on patch that says 22 then we got the toff pin badge and then we got a tin that we put all our centralizers in so those was the goodies as well as i don't know how many balls of yarn i think it was eight was it seven or eight i can't remember but that was um last year's now if you just give me a second i'll get the years before out for you and this one was the year before 2021 um, and this one was a set of drawers i loved this one i really really did like this one let me just move my bird i love this box i really do like that so this was the bird do you know i can't remember what they're called isn't that bad but i can't so there's no point in me trying to remember so there's his claws and his legs and then he had beads as well i think we got two packets of beads with this one he had them all through his hair all down his wings my filming's not very good sorry then he had them on his tail feather and all on these tail feathers can you see them there oh well i really really enjoy doing these so that was the box and the bird and then here was the goodies so we got more or less the same but obviously different design those was the centralizers and stitch markers and then we got a tin to keep them in we got a pin badge oh isn't that lovely i love that one and then we've got an iron-on patch, which I need to put them on. I've, I've actually got a piece of linen to make a toft bad badge to iron all my patches on. But yeah, that's um, the advent from 2021. And these drawers, let me show you inside. What's in here? Oh, so these. this is all my toff yarn that I've ever used. I keep all the... <laughs> I keep all the tags um, in here is all the bits and pieces this is off one of my um, dolls my doll my subscription for my doll so I keep my bits and pieces in there so I know where they all are um, that's where I keep all my um, patches and little extra labels I get from Toft and then at the bottom this is all my yarn for my two dolls that I haven't yet made. Anyway, that's my box. So as promised, there are my two Toft Advents. And I can't wait to get the next one. Anyway, I'm going downstairs now to have a cup of tea because it's five o'clock and I'm still not straight in here. So I'm just having um, a coffee break and a few and a snack tim's and getting us some nuts and raisins and then i'm going to go back up and do another hour in the craft room i am not sure whether it's going to be finished i need more storage we went to b m and the storage situation there was rubbish and i mean rubbish i got one little like container that would fit all my glues in um and that's rubbish as well. That's not really very good. I don't know what... Tim thinks I need some more shelves. He says I need to take some... Um, what did you call it, love? Decoration. Yeah. He says you need to take some of this decoration off the wall and get some shelves up. So it might be a trip to Ikea. But if I don't get it finished, once I have got it finished, um, because I'm out tomorrow, so I'll be doing very little in it tomorrow, and then christmas in july finishes but at what i will do and i promise i will do this i will do a craft room tour and upload it to youtube because i don't think for one minute it's going to get finished anyway um yeah i don't really know what else to say to you um i'm not i'm not going to say good night just in case i can give you a brief look at what it might start to look like 
Um, so I'm just going to finish my coffee, have my snack and I might be back later. So I've taken all my tough birds off and my taller dolls at the back, given the shelf a really good dust and put them all back on again. And there's the two advents I've just shown you. But I actually think I'm going to have to call it a day. Um, I've got one more bird up there. Let me show you. That's my flamingo and my dog. Um, but I can't fit any more on. Here is my little Christmas snowman. That's another toft creature. Here is my toft. I call him Bobble Boy. <laughs> I don't know what he's actually called. Um, yeah, so I've cleaned that little bit of an area. And now I need to clean all this. Um, this is the floor still. Look, boxes everywhere. Do you want to have a look at my desk? Hold on a second and I'll show it to you. So here is the paper crafting desk, all separate now. So paper crafting is on this side. So I've got my trolley here, all my books under there. Um, these are all drawers that I have got. Um, this is all my, um, oh, what do you call it? Binding equipment. These are all my rubber stamps. And then I've got paper journals and papers and all sorts in that one. That needs a good sorting because that's just full of rubbish. This is that ridiculous thing I told you I'd got. Um, I mean, it's all right. And I did want to put my washi tape, my glues in it. Um, but Tim made me this on his... Um, Oh, is it his laser? Yeah, he made me that on his laser. So I quite, I, I want to keep that there because I quite like it. Um, but yeah, it, this needs more organisation. I've just literally thrown everything on there. That's not how it's going to be because I've got a mat for on here. Um, yeah, so all, all that's, that's the new section. And then I can watch um, movies there. These are staying here. And all these are staying here. This is what Tim, oh sorry, I don't want to swing you around too quick because you'll be sick. Please ignore the complete and utter chaos and mess. Like I say, it's going to take a couple of days to get sorted. But what Tim wanted me to do, he wanted me to take this down and all this down. He said, if you take all this down here and all this, he said, you can get some shelves on there. Well, I love this. This is my Christmas corner from... This is my second year of doing Christmas in July and I like them all on display there. So I'm not taking them down and I'm certainly not taking these down. That's Katie when she graduated. And then this is the only really good picture I have of my parents. That's my mum and dad from that's a 30 year old photograph. Oh, I did love my mum and dad. And then this is a painting that Katie did when she was at university. Um, she did this because she come up and down the motorway so many times. She did the tooth because obviously she was doing dentistry. These are all the books. Um, she used to have an old Roberts um, radio that she used to listen to. And she used to love cooking and skiing. She used to be a ski, or she still is a skier. She loves snow skiing. And she was a cheerleader. She went to America cheerleading. She did quite a bit with cheerleading. And I don't want to take them down. Anyway, I don't know. We'll have to find somewhere else to put stuff. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of things been changed around. But I do think it's going to be a really slow process because I just, yeah, I just need storage. Look at the state of all this. It's just everywhere. It's in every nook and cranny. This is the Hoover. Oh, yeah, them are really, really, really old books um, for junk journaling. Got some more boxes here. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I just, I need more time. Anyway, I'm going to turn you around and say goodnight. Okay, I am going to say goodnight because this is not going to get done. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I cannot believe it's the last day tomorrow. It has whizzed by July. It is ridiculous how quickly the time goes. Um, so like, like I said, I'm going out tomorrow and on the 1st of August, we at Tim's birthday. So we're going out for possibly the day and we're definitely going out for a meal at night time. Um, but next week I am going to try 
and do a roundup video of everything I've made in July and I'm also going to try and do a video for my giveaway so there might be another couple of videos coming towards the end of next week maybe one maybe in the middle and one towards the end we'll see how we get on um but for now thank you very much for watching I do hope you've enjoyed the day we are absolutely well I, I am I don't know about Tim but I'm shattered he's downstairs um preparing dinner and I'm just going to do another half hour up here while um, dinner is being made and then I'm going to go downstairs eat dinner and upload edit and upload this video I haven't done any crafting at all today um I'll probably get my Santa finished tonight and then what I'd really really like to do tomorrow before I finish recording my Christmas in July is to try and get my arms and my legs made for my gnome um, whether I'll be able to or not, I don't know, but I'm going to give it a good go. Um, yeah, so that's it. So thank you very much for watching and I shall be back again tomorrow for the last day of Christmas in July. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a nice night. Good night.